All right, so plantar fasciitis. It's a condition that affects the heel, particularly the underside of the heel, just in front of the heel. It's an irritation of the tissues that span from the heel up towards the front of the foot. So if that was my foot, it'd be there. It'll affect about 10% of the population. In our practice, we'll see everyone from acute right through to chronic. The difference between acute and chronic is that acute, you haven't had it for very long. Chronic, you've usually had it for many weeks, probably months and possibly even years. So a, a chronic injury is one where the tissues have actually changed. They're no longer healthy tissues which are inflamed. These are now unhealthy tissues and they sometimes do respond to anti-inflammatories, but that's not the solution. The solution is to remodel that, that tissue, to make it change back to being healthy tissue again. If the problem is chronic, we treat that area with a Chattanooga shockwave machine. Generally after about three sessions, the person's got a, a marked reduction in pain. So if you're coming in for uh, a treatment on plantar fasciitis, the actual process of applying the shockwave will involve application of ultrasound gel. And then when that compressed air reaches the handpiece, it propels a small projectile down a tube where it hits a metal plate at the end. And that metal plate then sends the vibration through the tissues and actually gives them a, a mechanical, or we call it an acoustic shockwave. It's not an electrical shockwave, it's not electrical treatment, it's a mechanical treatment. We would usually spend maybe just five minutes actually applying the machine, usually on a weekly basis. It can be uncomfortable, that's okay. And when we say uncomfortable, I don't mean painful, it should not be painful, but people start to identify that discomfort with the positive outcomes that they get when they have the treatment. So it really becomes a good hurt. Once they've experienced the actual outcomes, they have no problem with the, the anticipation of the discomfort next time. And it's very brief. The patient experiences a reduction in pain, an increased tolerance of loading. So if they have trouble with running or walking or jumping, after treatment, they gradually find that they can do more and more.